Hey, this is uh, Keith Ball from Bikernet.com. We're live at the Milwaukee Harley-Davidson Rally 2012, the AMD show affiliate, and I have the pleasure to be here with Bill Davidson. And Bill, how you doing? I am doing great. What a great day, great turnout of people, and we've got a great show in store for everybody this whole today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And the ride-in show on Sunday. Ride-in show on Sunday, and looking forward to that. We're expecting a great number of people to show up and put their bikes on display for people to enjoy. Absolutely. Well, tell me about how you started with the factory in 1984. You know, I, I've really been with the company all my life. Um, I bleed orange and black. <laughs> Uh, my great-grandfather was one of the original founders of the company and my grandfather was president of the company from roughly 1943 to 71. Willie, my dad, joined the company in 63 and uh, just recently retired the end of April, although when your, your name is on the gas tank, you never really retire. You just start to do things uh, that you really like to do, which is ride and continue design great motorcycles so he's still very much involved and uh, I was fortunate to officially join the company in 1984 and uh, it, it's really been a love affair ever since I've had the great opportunity to work in many different divisions at the company primarily in the marketing arena everything from running the Harley owners group to spending about 15 years in product planning I was vice president of uh, our marketing division for our core customers and about two years ago I was asked to if I would be interested in running the museum business and it took me about two seconds <laughs> and I said absolutely what, a, what an honor and what an opportunity. Well tell us about uh, the 110th that's coming up and all your travels. Yeah, what, what a milestone, uh, 110 years, the oldest motorcycle company in the world. Uh, we couldn't be more proud, and it, it's really, I think, 110 year history is, is a testimonial to our products, our dealer network, and certainly our great customers around the world. And uh, so we're gonna celebrate with them. We're gonna celebrate here in Milwaukee, a year from now, we'll be sitting here talking about all the good things that are happening for the 110th. Uh, in June of next year, I will be in Rome with my family. We're going to be actually located at the Vatican, and uh, we actually have the Pope that's going to do a bike, bike blessing for about 3,000 Harley riders, so that should be pretty spectacular. That's going to be amazing. Well, tell us about the new motorcycle, the new old motorcycle you just you just picked up. A dream come true. Um, a good friend of mine, Bruce Chubbuck, who used to run our fleet center in California, uh, he had a beautiful 1936 knuckle. And years ago, I had the opportunity to work with Bruce at one of our demo ride activities, and he showed up on that knuckle. And I told him that day that if he ever wanted to sell it, he should contact me. Well, about five weeks ago, Bruce called me and he said, Bill, I, I just can't, my knee's getting bad, I just can't kick it over, and I want it to go to a good home. And I said, Bruce, I'm gonna give it a great home. So I'm a proud owner of a 1936 Knuckle, and uh, I'm gonna ride it and uh, I, I love tank shifters, foot clutches. I, they're, they're just a ball to ride and I'm thrilled to have it. And the other neat thing is, I, I mentioned this is kind of a dream come true for me because, you know, every day here at the museum, I, I think of my relatives and the, the four founders and some of the things they went through and experiences that they experienced and what this company meant to them. And the neat thing about the Knuckle is it's a motorcycle that my great-grandfather, my great-uncle Arthur Davidson, my great-uncle Walter Davidson, 
and Bill Harley, they were, the four of them were instrumental in designing and putting the business plan for the Knucklehead, which they launched in 1936. So it's, uh, I'm very proud to own it and to know that those guys had their hands deep into that project makes me even that much more proud. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, tell me, which, uh, which relative uh, taught you how, how the hog ate the cabbage? <laughs> how the hog ate the cabbage? <laughs> um, you know, I, my grandfather, I knew very well, and, and he was uh, a great mentor to me. I, I used to race motocross. I raced a Harley-Davidson 250 uh, back in the mid to late 70s. And I kept my race bikes in his garage. And it was great going over there to wrench on my bikes to have Grandpa kind of leaning over my shoulder watching what I was doing, but at the same time just telling me chapters of history that I cherish because it's stuff that isn't really in the history books. It's stuff that my grandfather and my grandmother went through um, in their day-to-day -day business life with the company and the pleasures they had with our customers and our dealer network and traveling around the world. So uh, great memories of that. I'll bet you got some wonderful stories. Well, tell me uh, how you're going to play into and how the museum will play into the 110th. Well, the, the museum will be an anchor. Um, it is the focal point. It, it is Milwaukee. Um, the museum, as you guys know, has an unbelievable collection of Harley-Davidsons. Uh, everything from serial number one up until the, the anniversary products for 2013. It is the biggest collection of unrestored Harley-Davidsons anywhere in the world. And unrestored is important because the founders had a vision to pull products, first introduced products, off the assembly line and keep them. And if it wasn't for their vision, our collection probably wouldn't be nearly as complete as it is. So I think it's fitting to have the museum be the anchor to the 110th because of what it represents and the excitement and uh, things that we provide for customers around the world to come and see. There's a, there's a story, and I'm, I'll let you tell it, the story about the original factory and what happened to it. <laughs> yeah, this is something my grandfather talked about till the day he died. Um, and I was with him two days before he passed away, and he did talk about it. We're getting some feedback. So, the, the original shed, the 1903 shed, was uh, a shed that was in the backyard of my great-great-grandparents. And their sons, William, Walter, and Arthur Davidson, along with Bill Harley, worked in that shed after they came home from their current jobs. Um, Walter and Bill Harley worked for the Milwaukee Railroad, and are we on? Okay. And uh, after they would finish their day job, they would go back home to the shed and work on the first Harley Davidson. So this shed had tremendous value. It had almost an iconic status, uh, pictures of it. My father, Willie, had, has done watercolors of the shed. But unfortunately, in the late 50s, uh, we had some people, that, let me back up for a minute. My grandfather had asked that the shed get cleaned up. And um, unfortunately, when they walked outside to clean up the shed, they not only cleaned the shed up, but they tore it down. And this was devastating to not only my grandfather, but a lot of people. And What's, what's kind of neat though is when I was in our events and entertainment marketing, I went to the Milwaukee Public Library and did a lot of research on that shed. 
and we rebuilt the shed. We still have the, the replica. It is a replica down to the actual nail hole pattern. Uh, the steel chimney coming out the back, which was for the wood, wood stove, uh, is an exact replica. And we set that shed up. Uh, we set it up for the, the 85th anniversary, the 90th, the 95th, the 100th, the 105th, and the 110th. And uh, I'm hoping that we can set that shed up on the museum grounds for the 110th. People can pull up next to it and have their pictures taken. Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to, to interview you, and, uh, you. and uh, you'll have a blast next year. I, I'm really looking forward to it. I, I, I hope you can all make it next year. Milwaukee is going to be buzzing with motorcycles. And the one thing about Milwaukee is our community is very welcoming to motorcycles. Uh, they open their arms up. So I hope you guys have a great time this weekend. Enjoy this tremendous AMD show. We're thrilled that they're, they're here participating on our grounds. It's a great uh, value for us. And uh, everybody have a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bill.